Hey Stalker, Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I want to tell you why Reason 11 Intro is the best cheap DAW out there for you. Unless you're on a Mac, in which case, go just with GarageBand. But if you're not using a Mac and you're looking to get started with music production, I really think Reason 11 Intro is a great value and one that you can grow with. Um, and this is separate from my review of Reason 11, the full experience, because I think for $400, I don't know that Reason 11 delivers $400 of value, but Reason 11 intro is a really good deal and gives you a full-fledged package from which to grow your music licensing or just your music creation. Um, so let's dig into what's included with Reason 11 intro and I'll tell you why I think it's the best cheap dog. What we're going to be doing, covering today is First of all, what's included in Reason 11 intro. Then we'll cover how this compares to other DAWs and the same price point. Then we'll look at why Reason 11 intro is also a great idea for musicians who have a fully featured DAW but just want a cheap, affordable sound pack because that's a great value too. And then finally, I'll just sort of sum everything up. So first of all, you notice what's included. We can just pay attention to the intro cover here. You can use Reason Rack as a plugin in other DAWs. So that means if eventually you decide to change and use something else, you'll still have full access to all these Reason effects and instruments if you upgrade down the line to another instrument. Or you can upgrade cross-grade to Reason 11 full later. It includes 11 instruments. We'll get into those, but they're some of the best instruments in Reason. 11 effects, which are some of the best effects in Reason. Three players, which are really what you need to do to help you create inst uh, music with just one finger. And eight utilities, which kind of tie everything together. Now you're only able to do 16 audio MIDI or MIDI tracks at a time. But to be honest, that is totally enough. Probably, <clears throat> even having done this for a very long time, 90% of my songs are gonna have less than 16 tracks. And if I was stuck to a 16 track limit, I would have no way, no problem finding ways to just work around that by bouncing um, or by combining tracks. It also includes about 2.6 gigabytes of samples. So let's look at what instruments are included in Reason 11. But before we go any farther actually on this dive into Reason 11 intro, I wanna know if you think there's a better cheap DAW out there. Uh, for example, Reaper perhaps, um, I don't know if you have any other thoughts on what people might want to look at. I think Sonar has been free at times, um, but overall, I just think Reason provides a really good example of a full featured DAW with a lot of good sounds to play with and that can use VSTs and rack extensions to expand what you already have. So. First you have Europa. Europa is just a world-class synth. It's good for pads, chords, leads, and basses. Thor is similarly a really good synth. It's just a good all-around synth. Monotone bass synthesizer is a very good bass synthesizer. And Subtractor is kind of a, a good all-around synth as well. It's one of the original reason synths and it's stuck around for a while. You've got the Kong Drum Designer and you can use this to create really cool drum hits, drum patches. Um, you can import your own individual samples into Kong. So like if you buy a third party sample pack, boom, you can drop it into Kong and then play with those wave files. So that's really actually much more versatile than it seems. You've got Rhythmic Drum Machine, which is also just a really good drum machine. It comes with pre-built samples, but they all sound really good. You've got the Redrum drum computer, which is another very good. I, I, I don't actually like it that much, if I'm being honest. I don't use Redrum that much. A lot of people still do. If you're doing EDM, it's really a good way to program drums. But for hip hop and rock, it just doesn't have enough swing. But I like it. It's usable. You can import your own samples there again. Then you've got Dr. Rex, which is a really good loop player. Um, I use this all the time not only to chop loops, but just to play loops in the background. And similarly, there's all sorts of third-party 
gigabytes upon gigabytes of Rex loops out there that you can buy and import in. You got the NNXT, which is an advanced sampler, but that's only relative to reason. It's a pretty ancient sam sampler by modern standards, but it still does the job. And you can play all sorts of complex samples with this and make your own samples as well. Again, third party sa samples are great. It also includes the NN19 sampler, which, you know, I don't know why they would include both, to be honest, uh, aside from the fact that they've already created instruments on the NN19. Um, and the ID8 songwriter's toolbox, which is a waste of your time. Don't bother with that. Um, so it doesn't include all of these other instruments, but like, and some of them are really good, but you do have pianos in the NNXT and the NN19 and tuned percussion and, you know, choirs and things like that. So you're not missing out on a ton. You can always buy these separately as rack extensions if you want them down the line. When it comes to effects, we got some good ones here. Audiomatic Retro Transformer is just a really good, fun, one knob uh, plugin that can do everything from tape saturation to emulating weird tubes and pipes. Really good for sound creation. Scream 4 is a really good distortion sound mangling thing that I use all the time. RV7000 is a very good reverb. Not the best in the world, but good enough to get you started. This, these two soft tube amps kind of suck, but they're better than nothing. The M-Class compressor is a decent compressor. The M-Class equalizer is a fine equalizer. The stereo imager is a pretty good stereo imager. You've got a maximizer, which is not a great maximizer, but it'll be enough. You can always get ozone or something down the line. A simple digital delay and a simple chorus flanger, all of which are really solid. Now, you're also going to get scales and chords, dual arpeggio, and note echo, which are tools you can use to make your songs really pop. Um, they help you write songs much faster and program in sounds that would just be really hard to play naturally or to program in by hand. And then you also have these utilities here, uh, Combinator, Pulsar, all this great stuff. So overall, I think this is an incredible value for $99. This is everything you need to get started making music. And it totally lets you either grow into using Reason by getting more rack extensions or third-party VSTs, or getting, if you realize you like music production, getting another DAW and using these instruments and effects within that DAW. I also want to add that Reason 11 Intro is a really good just sound pack for anybody using another DAW that quickly wants to boost their supply of sounds and effects. For 99 bucks, you get some really useful stuff that works in other DAWs. Europa itself used to be $99 as a standalone. Monotone is a great, is genuinely a great bass synthesizer. Um, and you've got some effects that you won't get anywhere else, like the Scream, Audiomatic, and the Advanced uh, RV7000. These are really good effects. And so for 99 bucks, if you're using this in your, you know, whether it's Cubase or Ableton, I think you'll get a lot of value out of this compared to what else you could spend your money on. If you're thinking about making the jump to Reason, be sure to check out my free beginner guide cheat sheet to Reason 11. You can download that right there. It's free. Click that link. I hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. So just to give you some comparisons of what else is out there at this price point. For $60, you can get Reaper. And Reaper is an incredibly powerful DAW. But it doesn't really include... It's more of a platform. It just doesn't really include any instruments or effects or anything that you'd really want as a beginner. And I personally don't find it very inspiring to work with. Although many people make good music on it. But I think as a beginner, uh, it doesn't really get you anywhere. Or as uh, a user of another DAW, it doesn't add anything to your collection of music and tools. For 99 bucks, you could also get Fruity Loops Fruity version. Um, and the big downside here is you can't use audio clips or do audio recording. So like if you ever want to record vocals or guitar or anything like that, you're not going to be able to do it. Um, it allows for a lot more tracks and it includes, you know, some good 
supports other third-party plugins, uh, has a fair amount of instruments and synthesizers, but the inability to record audio, I think, is just a major knock against it. You can also get Cubase Elements, um, which allows for a lot more audio tracks, and it comes with a ton of effects plugins, but it does not come with that many um, virtual instruments. It only comes with two. Um, and so really, in my view, if you've only got $99 to spend, there's no better cheap DAW than Reason 10. And plus, because you can now use it as a plugin, you can just take it into whatever other DAW you want down the road if Reason's... Because as a DAW, Reason probably is not the best of these as an actual platform. But for a beginner, it's a totally good platform. Um, the other thing I would say, though, is if you're on a Mac, GarageBand is a great place to start. It's free. It comes with it. Don't bother spending the money up front. I'd save up for Logic if I were you. As always, pursue your passion.